Okay, guys. Hey everyone. If you here, just say hi so that I know you here. Hello guys. Two people are here, welcome. Let's let's talk guys. Hey. How are you? Hold on. So if you have any questions concerning my videos, I'm here to answer that. So James Smith, how are you? Hey guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my world. Hey girl, hi Fatumata, Mako, what's up? <laughs> Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. So how are you guys doing today? Can you guys hear me clearly? So I was just trying to try this live thing today on YouTube so I was like I'm gonna just come up here today and just try it and it's pretty much going well I love it already so Fatumata Binta you have any question thanks James Where are the other Marcos? Where are these girls? Thank you guys. No question yet? <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for being here guys. So if you have any question concerning any one of my video, you can free free to ask questions. So maybe I would just go and talk about why I made some some of my videos, why the reason why I made made it. But just say for example, my first YouTube video. So I just think I need more people first. Then I can just talk a little bit. So, so like the reason why, let's just talk about this video that I made. So this was my first YouTube video. Can you guys see this? So that's my first YouTube video. So like the reason why I made this video it's because a lot of people yeah. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I will teach you. <laughs> I will teach you, okay? I will teach you Liberian English. It's not hard. It's really, really easy. You just have to, like, talk a little different than how you talk right now. So just try to break the English. So Liberian English is not hard at all. But don't worry, I will teach you. Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna teach you. So, like, the reason why I made this video right here, Labor and Delivery, my story. So a lot of people go through labor and delivery, like, they go through tough time. And everybody go through the tough time differently so I decided because like for example like all known moms have different different experiences and some people who are no moms and they are pregnant like they fear and like they don't know a lot of what to expect and all of that and they don't also know what to expect so me coming up here and telling them my experience about my labor and delivery at least they can learn and also talking about like some tips on how they can what they can do to get ready for labor so it was very something that i wanted to share with new moms out there moms who haven't had a baby yet so that's the reason why i made this video which was my first YouTube video, Labor and Delivery. I just wanted to share my experience. Yeah. And it was like, if you don't really know how labor is like, you would make a lot of mistakes. So let's just say, for example, like when I was in labor, I was hungry. So like if you teach about or you tell people about you should eat before going to the hospital. You see, it's going to help them. Because my experience about that part was was a big mistake for me. I wish I, I would have ate or I was full before I went to the hospital. So just sharing and telling people your experience, they can learn and they cannot make that same mistake that you made. You know? So that's the reason why I made that video. So like the second video, I'm going to talk about this one right here. I'm going to talk about why I made this video. I don't know if you guys can see that. So like the reason why I made this video, tips and tricks on how to study for nursing school. So like if you are a freshman, because I remember doing my freshman year in nursing school, like I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know like the expectations. I didn't know how to study. So I was, because like, if you take in other classes as compared to nursing classes, it is completely different. It's not the same. So if you study like the way you study for your previous classes, you will never do well. Never. It's not comparable. So for example, if you are taking non-nursing courses, if you study for an hour for a non-nursing course, if you're taking nursing classes, you have to double or triple that amount of time that you study. So if you study for an hour, you have to double it to like two or three hours. So when I started freshman year in nursing school, I did so bad because I didn't know how to study. So that's why I decided to make a video, this video right here. Talking about some tips and tricks on um, how to study and make good grades, which was very, very, very important for new nurses or new nursing students. So at least they can learn and they can learn from our experiences and it can help them a lot. So that's the reason why I made this video. So you guys have any question? As I move on, talking about my videos, why I made them. No. All right. So let's move on. So the reason why I made this other video right here, this one right here. 
So the question, what you should know before starting nursing school. So the reason why I made it is because of, so like I was saying before, if you're not into nursing, you don't know, you are blind, you don't know anything, nothing at all. So if you get in and you start to retrospect, Oh, yeah. So to your question, Binta, are you graduating from a four-year nursing program? Yes, I'm graduating from a four-year nursing program. Alhamdulillah. So I can't wait for that. And I'm so excited. It was, it's really tough, y'all. Nursing school is so hard. It's so tough. Thanks for that question, Binta. So like I was saying, like, if you don't know any, if you get into the program, you don't really know nothing, nothing. Even people tell you, if people don't tell you, you don't know anything because you are blind. So like, so when you get in, then you start to realize, oh my God, I never knew that. I wish I knew this before starting nursing school. So like, that's why I made this video so that some people go into nursing because Maybe their family pushed them to go into nursing. It's not something they want to do from their heart. And with nursing, like, it's something that is so hard. So if you don't like it, it's not going to work for you in the long run because you have to love it so that whatever happens or whatever obstacles that come your way, you will be able to manage it. You're going to be like, oh, what? Oh, wow, I chose this field because I love it. And this is the reason why I have to stick to it. So, like, for most people, like, their family just going to tell them, oh, go do nursing because it has a lot of money. Like, you're going to earn a lot of money. And they don't really have love for nursing. So, with that being said, that's why I made this video to talk about if nursing is not something that you want to do, you don't have no love for it, don't go for it. Because it's so challenging. It's so it's something that you have to love. It's something that you have to put your all into. It's something that you have to dedicate your life to. So let's just say right now, this corona time, what is going on? So for those who just chose nursing to just go into the field for the money, now they're regretting it because like with this pandemic, they don't have that love and that time to take care of people it's gonna be it's gonna be something hard yeah. excuse guys sorry so it's gonna be something hard so that's why I made this video so somebody just interrupt me my little girl right here <laughs> I said to why are you sleepy today hmm so she just interrupt me, guys. I'm so sorry. So that's the reason why I made this video. So, okay. I will talk about this one. Why I made this video right here. Baby versus lemon. <laughs> so the reason why I made this video was because my daughter, this little girl right here, when she was little younger, when she was younger, when she was a baby, she used to love everything, every food you talk about. Whatever you give her, she's going to eat. Whatever you give her, you're going to eat. So I was like, what is in this world? Or what kind of food this girl is not going to eat? So I thought about it. I was like, she probably won't like lemon. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video to see if she's going to. Hold on, I said to hold on. I'm coming, guys. I'll be right back. Why? You want to go? Sorry. Is it luck? Come, you want to have breakfast? Yeah. 
so I'm gonna be right back, guys. Hey, Faye. <laughs> so I was on here talking, but I have to go and come back real quick. I need to make breakfast for Aisha too. She just woke up. And I'm gonna be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. And we're gonna we're gonna continue this live video. And you can ask me any questions as I go through talking. So I'll be right back. Just give me five minutes. All right, I'll be right back. I do too.
Hey guys, I'm back. Feda, welcome. So, so on this talk, what question do you have? Are you guys there? So we gonna move on. So if you're here, just please just say hi. Let's get to know one another. Let's build our relationship. So if you just came, just say hi. So I was talking about this video, why I made this video. So I don't know why isn't it not showing. I don't know why it's in a showing. Say that. What's up? So like the reason why I started talking, so I got interrupted by Lisa too. So like the reason why I made this video, baby versus lemon. So my daughter, when she was a baby, she used to love eating anything and everything. Like I'm not complaining, like I was so grateful y'all. So whatever you give her, she will eat. Whatever you give her, she will eat without no problem. So I thought to myself, I was like, what is in the world that this girl don't like? So I just, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to try lemon. I'm going to give her some lemon and see if she's going to eat it. So I decided to make a video. Hi, James. Welcome back. <laughs> so I decided to make a video. So in this video... She ate the lemon. She sucked on the lemon without making any face, any face at all. Even right now, I said to quote, she loved lemon like crazy. She could suck on it without making any face. For me, like when I have lemon, you will see all those phases, all those extra muscles showing. For her, she would eat it like she's eating banana. She just loved everything. She loved lemon. So I was really surprised when I saw her reaction towards lemon. And it was the greatest thing ever, to be honest. So let's move on. So why I made this video? DJ bring back my money. <laughs> that was the funniest video ever, I swear to God. So. Huh? What her? So like I used to do. You know, some of us have favorite food. Some people be like, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. But for Aisatu, she loves everything. Literally. I haven't seen a food that Aisatu don't like. I haven't seen that. She could eat anything and everything. Even up to now. Yeah. So the reason why I made this video, DJ Bring Back My Money. So I I went to a friend's wedding. She was a Nigerian. So doing her wedding. So like she she loved chips. Binta to answer your question, she loved to eat more chips. She likes um she likes apple. Apple is her favorite and strawberries. She loved fruit. She loved fruit. She loved oranges. She loves rice too. She can eat rice and she don't like you to feed her. She likes to feed herself. So when you try to feed her, she'd be like, no, mommy, I do it myself. No, mommy, I do it myself. And even if you take her to the party to pee, she usually don't want you to help her. She likes to do it herself. Even if you don't know how to do it, she will struggle, try to do it herself. Even if you give her showers, she likes to do it herself, put her clothes on. So it's like, it's, she's so independent. And I thank God for that. She is so independent. She don't like you to do anything for her. She likes to do everything for herself. So sometimes when she mess the room, I'll be like, it's, it's time to clean up. She's like, okay, mommy, it's time to clean up. And she will start to help me clean up. She's just a sweet kid. She's the best. Yep. So... I hope I answer your question, Binta. So why I made this, this video, right? So DJ bring back my money. 
the reason why I made this video. So I went to, to a friend's wedding on my one of my good friends, Nigerian. So I went to her wedding. So doing her wedding, you know, like you know, like you invite DJs to come to your wedding, you pay them to come to your wedding. So after all of that, so when she was dancing, people start to throw money on her. People um start to throw money. And the DJ was just playing. Like, he don't have anybody picking up the money. But she herself, like, her family people start to pick up the money, saving it for her because it was her wedding. And she spent so much on the wedding. So, like, people giving her money, all those money, it's for herself. But for us in our Fulani culture, like, Fulani's wedding, if you invite the DJ to come, whatever money people throw on you, it's going to be for the DJ. So the DJ is going to have a special somebody to come and pick all the money up. And guess what? Don't think that money is for you. It's for himself. And all of them. Oh, she's, she just woke up. Ellen G, hi, welcome. So she just woke up. She's eating breakfast. And she hasn't taken a shower yet. So I don't want to bring her up here. She's a mess right now, to be honest. She is a mess. Yep. But she's fine. Thanks for asking. So you should. So Ellen G, she has a YouTube channel too. If you have time, can you please visit her channel and subscribe? Her, her name, her channel name is Ellen G Dynastic. Fada, Fada said a DJ bring back my money was funny as hell. That is true. That is so funny, y'all. But sometimes, you know, like some people will come and be like, "Oh, why you want to talk about DJs?" You know, that's a I got a backlash for that video. Backlash. Oh, so you went there to talk about your wedding? Da 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 da. Come on, this is just a video. It's not concerning me personally but it's just like our fulani culture and that's not fair i'm speaking for everybody not just me i just feel like it's not fair for you to invite somebody or dj to your wedding and you pay them and you pay them to play on your wedding and whatever money the people throw on you is going into his pocket that is not fair what about what about me who spend all of that money and all of my debt that I have to pay, and all of the expensive, what about me? I need that money more than you do because I already pay you to come and play. So why are you coming to take all of those money on top of the money I already pay you? So I was just like, no, this is, I don't think our Fulani people really, thank you, LNG. Thank you. So I was like, I don't think our Fulani people really know, but I feel like this should be, this need to stop. This need to because that's not it doesn't make sense. So I was like, no, I need to do a video to let it stop. You know, somebody spend on their money, all the money they invited people. So all of those money is supposed to be for them. They have a lot of expensive. They're moving into a new houses. They have a new life coming up. And they need that more than you do. Come on. So it was just a video to just speak out and speak for the voiceless and just advocate. So that's why I made this DJ bring back my money video. So that's the reason why I made it. So you guys have any question? Any question guys? Or should I move on? Okay, I guess no question. Thanks guys, I really appreciate the support though. Thanks for being here. So I'm gonna go on to the next video. That's true. And for us, like, I feel like we, the Fulani people, we don't like to speak out most of the time. We just let things go, you know? We just slide off and just let it go. I just feel like we are just cool, kind, you know, like, we just calm. We don't like problems. We just let them let things go. So, Feda, your questions, plan after graduation says, I have a lot of plans a lot of plans after graduation and I don't even know like where I'm going to start because my plan is like a pamphlet 
So first of all, after I graduate, I want to go back to school. That's number one. That's my number one plan. And many other stuff. So I can graduate, go back to school, then find a job and work maybe part time and go to school at the same time. So that's that's just a little gist of my plans after I graduate. Did I answer your question? Fay that Omo Fay. All right, I guess we should move on. Go back to see again. Fay that what you mean? Oh, so talking about graduation party, I really want to, I really, really, really will love to have a graduation party. I will love to do that. Oh my gosh. But like where I live, I don't really know because, you know, like if you don't have a lot of people to where you are, even if you throw a party, I don't even, I don't know. So we're going to talk about that maybe some other time, but I really want to have it. Yes, Feda, I'm going to go back to school again for my mate, wife-free degree. I don't just want to graduate and just work. and for, Because like once you start working and making money, I feel like you forget about school. You don't, you just say, okay, I'm living a comfortable life. So what's the essence of going back to school? So you don't want to go back. You know what I mean? So for me, I just feel like I just want to continue until I'm done. So I want to get my made wifery degree after I graduate. So once I graduate from nursing school, I want to apply. Hopefully, if I get accepted, I will just start right away. And I can find a job, maybe a part-time job at the same time as I go to school. So that's my plan. Keep the question coming in, guys. I'm really loving it. I'm loving those questions. Thank you, Jean Smith. I appreciate that answer. Yep. So that's what I want to do, you know. You know, nursing, you know, like they'd be like, oh, nursing got a lot of money. So I feel like once you start, you start to get money. You'd be like, what's the essence of going to school, you know? I don't know. I'm just going to live this kind of comfortable. But for me, that's not my goal. Like, I already have my, my, my plans listed. And I just wish and I pray that I achieve those with the help of God, if God agrees. So those are my plans. I want to go to school until I finish once and for all, not to just stop in, you know. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to come back to this question. So this video right here, why I made this video. Can you guys really see this? This one. Oh, goodness. I don't know why it keeps. Okay. So you guys want to know why I made this video? It's called a stream close swap in public. So I swap my clothes with my husband's clothes. And I wore this in public. So the reason why I did this, first of all, I felt it was so funny wearing guys' clothes and going out in public. And I also, I feel like it was so interesting and I wanted to feel different. You know what I mean? I wanted to feel different. And I also wanted to see people's reaction. Like, what would they say if you dress like this? Are they going to look at you as somebody different? So I just wanted to know, like I had a lot of questions that I wanted to know and I felt like it's going to be a funny video as well for my viewers. So that's why I decided to make this video, a scram clothes swap. So from head to toe, I wore my husband's clothes. Some people fade up. I feel like some people notice and they were looking at me like I'm so weird, but most people did not care. Most people, because I went to the mall. And most people didn't care. And thank God, this is America. If it was in Africa, like they're all going to look at you like you're crazy. But for here, people don't really care how you dress, how you look. 
everybody's minding their goddamn business. So uh, I just feel like it was a really interesting video. And it was funny too. As you can see, like the comments, people laughing at the bottom right here. Why? I don't know. Can you guys see this? It's not focusing. So people had like a lot of comment laughing and stuff like that. But it was a really interesting video. Okay. Why nurses don't like baby nurses? The reason why I made this video right here. Why nurses do not like baby nurses? So my experience from nursing, like clinicals, like go to the hospital, clinicals time. So I realized that most of the nurses did not really care. Didn't really care, to be honest. Like sometimes if you need help or you have questions about certain things, they act like they're so busy. They don't, sometimes I want to talk to them and be like, okay, mm-hmm. And they move on. Like they don't really want to answer your questions. They don't really want to help you. They don't want to. They don't really want to educate you. Nothing. So most of the nurses on that unit that I worked on clinical days were like that. So I was concerned. Like why they don't like us? Why they don't like? Like come on. Like we are here to be like you guys. So by race should be happy to help us to educate us because that's the main reason we are there. So if we're there and you're not showing any concern or you're not showing any means that you want to help educate us, it's not fun to be there. It's not fun to be around you guys. So I was so concerned. I had a lot of questions. Why these nurses don't like us? Like, why are they treating us differently? You know what I mean? So that's the reason why I came out here to say why they don't like us. And even like the, um, the PCAs that work there, that like the nurses aid, even them, they don't like us. Like sometimes you will need like a stethoscope or you'll need a blood pressure cuff. As soon as you ask them and they're using it, they're going to be like, I'm using it. You have to wait. And like the way they even talk to you, you want to smack them and be like, come on, don't talk to me like that. You are PCA and I'm, I'm a student nurse. I have more position than you. So you don't talk to me like that. You know, you hear me? But, you know, you can do that, obviously. But sometimes you just want to smack you want to smack them, you know what I mean? Well, you can't do that. You have to be professional. So if they say, hey, I'm using it, wait for me, or like they talk to you anyhow, you just got to let it go and move on, you know? So that's the reason why I made this video, why nurses do not like baby nurses. But I was talking about not just nurses, but like PCAs too. That's so right, Binta. That is so true. Every I feel like every career I like that. People don't just want you to be like them. I just feel like that's our that's people's mentality. Like, oh my god, I don't want you to be like me. I just I just I just want to be me. Just just me. It shouldn't be no other person like me. I just feel like we have that kind of mentality. That's why we're not going to go anywhere in life. Everybody is like that. So you are very very right. Mm -hmm. So why I made this video, I had a fight with my nursing instructor. <laughs> so the reason why I made this video, so it was April Fool's Day. So I just wanted to prank somebody and see their reaction, how they're going to react. So I was thinking about why, what should I prank this person? So I thought about it, you know what? I'm going to prank her about my nursing instructor and talk to her and say, oh, we at the police station and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to prank my sister because, like, she's more close to me, I feel like. So, like, things that affect me will affect her. So she will be more concerned. Why you do that? And she start to blast and stuff like that. So I decided to prank her. And I used my friend phone. I called her and I told her I had a fight with my professor. And she she was so, I was surprised though from her reaction. She was really calm. She was like, but why would you slap your professor? Why did you do that? You know, she was like, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but 
it was not, it didn't really work like the way I wanted it to work. She was not really full or she was not surprised. I feel like she would have went wide, but she did not. She did, she just, she was just so calm when I was telling her, oh, I had a fight and I'm, I'm, I'm at the police station. What am I going to do now? My whole nursing career has been, it's going to be jeopardized. Oh God, what am I going to do? And she, she was like, what are you going to do? You can do anything, you know, but why would you, why would you slap your professor? That's not nice. Why would you do that? You know, you know, she was so calm. I was surprised by that, to be honest. I was so surprised. <laughs> That was the funniest thing ever. So that's the reason why I made this video. It was April Fool's Day. So I have something to say to Fada Binta, right? So I always wanted to prank you guys. I always, always Binta, I have I have a confession to make to you today. <laughs> I didn't tell you this, but I need to confess today. And I even yeah, it was you, Faydad, Aisha to Ami, so all four of you. I need to confess today. You guys want to hear my confession? Are you guys here? You want to hear my confession? So, Binta, you remember one time you called me? Okay, I try to prank you again. I don't remember my prank that I prank you, though. Tell me, what did I prank you? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> I did. Yes, I did. So, Binta, you remember one time you called me. It was like, I think there are people who want to scam us. They use, they use your number. Somebody called me using your number saying they want to deliver. I don't know. It was pizza or something. Remember, you remember that, Binta? You said, I think you need to, you need to call. You told me. I think you need to either change your number or you have to be mindful. They're using your number. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh, oh, God. But it was a fail prank. <laughs> she said, that's not funny because I was so scared. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So let me tell you guys, right? So on this app called Prank, where is it? Prank Dial. It's right here. It's called Prank Dial. You can actually call somebody and prank them. So that's what I was trying to do to Fada, Benta, Ami, and Aisutu. So when do you James, do you know about Prank Dial? It is the funniest thing ever. Like they have so many different pranks. You can prank about anything, like couch delivery, pizza, whatever you want to prank about. And if the person call you, it's not like you, they're calling in their voice, mainly voice, I'm telling you. So I call Binta, but like the thing is, the thing that really messed the whole prank up was that my phone number show. That was the thing that messed my prank up, my phone. Because I tried to do it without my phone number showing. But when they, when I call her, my phone number show, and she knew she was like, "Oh, somebody's trying to like scam us." I feel like they're using your number and saying pizza delivery and stuff like that. So I was like, "Oh my god!" So I didn't really know how to call without using my um, my phone number. So I just messed that whole prank up. I called Fada, she didn't answer. I called Isatu, she did not answer either. I called Ami, she did not answer. Benta, she answered. But I feel like my number show, so it just messed up my whole prank. Right, Binta? And you call me, you was like, oh, I feel like somebody want to prank us, somebody want to scam us. We got to be careful and stuff. It was me, y'all. It was me. I was trying to prank you. But I just messed it up. It didn't work. Sorry. More pranks to come, though. I will prank all four of you. So that's that's it right there. So the reason why I made this video right here. Oh goodness. I don't know why it's in a showing. No explain please. James, I don't understand your question. 
Oh, Benta, you say it did work because I was scared. For me, I feel like it did not really work because I wanted you to actually talk to the guy who called you. Because if you would have answered, you you gonna feel like it is a real person. You gonna talk alone. He gonna be talking. You gonna be talking. So it did not work because you did not answer. You was not you didn't interact with the person. Even though you were worried, you were worried. She was like, I'm calling T-Mobile right now. I think I need to change my phone number. They're trying to scam us. Yeah. It was me, Binta. Yeah. Sorry. So. So cook with me. Sometimes I do cooking vlogs too. I just like to cook. You know, everybody have different ways to, to cook. Some people cooking is way better than other people cooking. You know what I mean? So if you can spice things up with these fingers, it's better to share, you know? Share with the word so they know how you cook and maybe they can modify how they cook and it can taste way better. So that's why sometimes I just do some cooking videos so people can learn. Because for me, I learn from people a lot. Most things I don't really know how to cook. I call, for example, Benta. She knows how to make the best chicken. When she seasons chicken for you, you're going to be like, yes. Oh, gosh. You're going to lick all your fingers and eat through all the bones and stuff like that. So whenever I'm trying to make chicken, I always call her for her recipe because I love how she makes her chicken. So I always call her, Benta, tell me how should I make this. What should I buy? You know, stuff like that. So for me, I always learn from people. And I have a lot of friends that I call something like they are really good at. I call them to get their recipe. And when I try, it comes out really nice. That's how you learn how to make a lot of food. So that's what I do. So James, you say I should talk about the prank. So like. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you should, Binta. You should. Definitely, your chicken are the best, and your cheque, and your hot cheque too. Oh my gosh, it's because of you I started making a cheque at home because of your a cheque. I never used to make a cheque, never, but because of you, I started making a cheque because I like how, how you make it, it's really, really good. So, James, you said I should talk about the pranks. So, like, the prank is like prank dial, right. Let's just say, for example, let me just find one here. Oh, Feda says she loves your fish, too. <laughs> yeah, she really knows how to spice things up. Oh, look at that. She loves your fish. For me, I love Binta chicken. I love, oh, Binta knows how to make a lot of stuff. She learned from her mom. Yes, Binta know how to make a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff. So, um, so like the prank dial, I was just, sorry, I was, so it's called prank dial. Let me try to find right here. But I don't know why it's not focusing. You guys can see this, right? I just wish you guys can see this. But it's not showing at all. Okay, right here. So you see, this is called prank dial. Like they have a lot of pranks. So you see food delivery prank. They have tax refund scam, prank, push my kid prank. So I will just play one so you can listen to it. So. Yeah, I need to talk to you. You were pushing my kid outside the school. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The kids all caught it on their phones. Did you think I wouldn't be able to find your number? Let me tell you something, pal. No one messes with Junior. You want to mess with my kid? You're going to mess with me. You're the queen of denial. You're dealing with a war veteran here. So so you see like that. So if somebody call you like that, you push my kid. Nobody messing with my kids. 
So you're going to be like, why are you yelling at me? When did I push? You know, you're going to be like surprised. When did I push your kid? I don't even know your kid. What are you talking about? And you're going to start to make argument with that person. It's just the funniest thing. And the person who sent that prank will listen to you guys after and they will just crack out. So that's the prank. It's like prank diet. They have a lot of different pranks. So I think I did the pizza delivery with Binta. And I did the couch. The couch. No, the milk. Say that. I sent you the mail delivery one. But I feel like you didn't answer when I call you that day. So they have a lot of different ones, a lot of different pranks. And it's just the best. You need to listen to this or prank other people. So, James, that's it about um, the prank diary thing. Yeah. So let's move on. So, so like, okay. I'm, I'm about to talk about my favorite dish too. You guys enjoy about me. Feida, Fatumata Binta. I know you guys have one thing that you enjoy from me. So this one right here. This food right here. Look at it. This is my Liberian dish. <laughs> the rice and the fish and the eggs and the plantain. <laughs> So the reason why I made this video, right? So one time I made this food, this dry, this is called dry rice. And this is one of the Liberian people's favorite dish. Like they always, you know, this is our kind of dry rice, right? So one time I decided to make it for my close friends. And when I made it, like they really, really love it. They enjoy it. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> so they enjoy it. And most of my other friends too, when I make make it for them, they enjoy it. So I was like, you know what? I must as well just make a tutorial on how to make it and they can make it for themselves. So that's the reason why I did this video. So that you guys can learn how to make this dry rice. So that I don't have to be the cook all the time. In case we go out for vacation, you guys going to make it. So that's the reason why I made this. Yep. Liberian fried fish dry rice. So you know what? I'm about to talk about my most favorite watch video on YouTube. It has over 18K views. And I'm going to show you guys right now. It has over 18K views. This one right here. 18.5K views. Oh, Binta, you try to make it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I feel like I need to do one-on-one -on -one tutorial with you. I will take my time and teach you one by one, one step at a time, okay? And I'm sure next time when you try to make it, it's going to work out. Okay. So, right here. Oh, who's calling me? Somebody from Africa is calling me. I'll call them back later. So the reason why I made that, and that's my most favorite watch video on YouTube, 18.5K views, that's a lot. And even when you search, it just pop out. That's one of my videos that's pop out. It's popping out everywhere, you know what I mean? So sometimes you don't plan to make a video that people are going to like. You just, you don't know which video people will like. You don't really know. You just make video, you don't know which one they will really, really, really enjoy. So I remember I went to McDonald's to get um happy meal for my daughter. So driving there, I was like, you know what? Because usually when I started my YouTube channel, I used to use my phone to make videos. At that time, I didn't get a camera. So I used to use my phone. So when I went there, I was like, you know what? I think I should just, God just put it in my mind to just make a video. Speaking Liberian English, it was not planned. It was not something that I was thinking about. It just popped out in my head like that, just like that. So I was like, you know what? I think I should make a video talking uh, talking Liberian English to the um to the McDonald's cashier and see if she's gonna understand me. So that's how I made this video, and everybody cracking out. Like I have like how many comments. It is a lot over, how much, I'm going to tell you guys, 134 comments. People comment on this video like crazy. 
312 likes. So it is my most favorite video on YouTube. So if you haven't checked it out, please go and watch it and tell me what you think. It was funny. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions? So I have 30 more minutes to stay here. And let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep. We're almost there. We gonna be there shortly. Thanks, Fado. Thanks, Fada, James, and the other people who is not showing. Um, Binta, Fada, James. I don't know who's the third person that's who's here too. But thanks for being here, though. I appreciate the questions. I appreciate, like, I just appreciate all the interactions. Thanks for being here. Okay. I just want to, I'm about to go on snap right now and just snap this and tell them, oh, I'm on live. Come join. So I'm, I'm coming, guys. I'm trying to snap this real quick and tell them I'm on live. Come and join, guys. I'm on live. I'm waiting for you guys. Hurry up. Hurry up. You have just 30 minutes to come and ask me questions, whatever you have to question me. I'm here to answer it, okay? So see you. I'm waiting for you. Let me start a war. Go ahead. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> oh, my God. Who is my favorite Marco? <laughs> okay. And I'm going to be really, really honest. Honesty. I'm going to be honest with this answer. My favorite Marco. I'm going to be honest. So, everyone, every one of you have a unique attribute, a unique attribute. So, every one of you have a specific thing that makes you my favorite. So, like, not to generalize. But specifically, each of you have something that I love. Each of you. So I don't have a favorite. I just feel like you are all equal in terms of likes or love or favorite. You all are the same. You see like these four fingers? You are all the same to me. So I don't have no favorite. But I just see you guys. All of you are my favorites. Did I answer your question, guys? Not guys, but Binta, did I answer your question? She said whatever. <laughs> you think that was not an a honest answer? She said less. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, Feda, who's your favorite? It is it is not an answer. Oh, goodness. So tell me. For you, I'm serious. Not a joke. I don't have a favorite. Pick one. I'm not going to pick no. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making me laugh. I swear to you guys cracking me up. You guys cracking me up, y'all. I'm serious. You guys, you have to pick one. You guys are all the same. I love you guys equally without not liking one person over the other, the other person. I will not. Even if you bring a knife or a gun right now and be like, choose one or I'll shoot you. I'll be like, no, they are all equal. They are all my favorites. I love them equally. Yep. But if you were to say between the Marcos and I said to who you like, then I will choose. Or you say between the Marcos or your mom or dad who you like, then I'm going to choose. But between you guys, you guys are like this. You see, like, like this? Equal. Nobody is like this. Nobody is like you guys. I just like this. Honest answer. So Feydad and Binta, I'm I'm sending that question back to you. 
Who are your favorite among all four of us? You have to be honest. That's my my honest answer, though. Answer fake question. If you're in prison, who, who could you call first? Or oh, among all of you? Among all four of you who I could call first? If I'm in prison? That's your question, Fada. So if I'm in prison, the person who I'm going to call first, I'm going to go on Messenger and you know how I videotape you guys and be like, good morning, guys. Video video time, you know, when I go on Messenger and call you on video, that's how I'm going to go and be like, I'm going to call all of you and be like, hey, guys, I'm in prison. I need your help. Come on, help me. Get me out. You know what I mean? So that's how if I'm in prison, that's how I'm, I'm, I'm going to call all of you at the same time. Right here. Where is it? You see right here? This is my call group. I will just come hit the call right here. Or I just hit the video right here and I'm going to call all of you. Seriously, I'm not joking. I'm being serious. Not a joke. <laughs> that is so funny. Feda, that's a funny, 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 funny answer as for the day. You just cracked me out. <sighs> that was so funny. Definitely, I'm going to call you Fred because, like, the other Marcos, they are always late. They are always late. Before they get there, you're going to be dead by then. Or whatever that's going to happen, already happened to you. So that's true. On that, you are right. I'll call you first. <laughs> So, like, probably when I'm in prison and I need to just call one person, if I call, if I call all of you at the same time, probably none of you going to even pick up. Just fade that. Because she's always on time. She always respond on time. And that's just, that's what I was saying. Like, everybody has a specific attribute that I love. So, fade that. That's one of your attribute that I love. Yep. That's one of your attributes. I will be back. All right, Binta. Be back, okay? I'm going to be here for like 28 minutes and I'm going to be out. But let's just talk if you have questions. So let's see if more people can come and make this interactive. And we're going to be done shortly. So let's go back to what uh, what we were talking about. So where are we now? This life thing is so pretty, y'all. And I just like the fact that I can talk to you guys on this life. It just made me great. I feel so good, I swear to God. And I also enjoy your many questions. And it just make my day. You made my day, guys. I cannot thank you enough. Yep. So, I'm going to talk about this other video right here. Can you see that a Foley has been inserted into a male cat, into a male, um, can you see that? So a female is actually a female Foley catheter insertion. Insertion. So we were practicing on how to put a catheter in a female. So before deciding on this thumbnail, you see this thumbnail with the female. So before deciding on this thumbnail, I had like a fight with my Marcos. Some people be like, no, that's in inappropriate picture. Some of them are like, no, it's okay. It's going to attract more viewers. You know what I mean? So it was a lot of fight concerning this, 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 this. And I, we ended up picking this picture. 
So I just feel like my friends are the best, yo. So whatever question I have concerning certain picture that I want to upload or any thumbnail, I always go to them and they always help me choose. So like sometimes it's good to find a friend or find friends who will help you no matter what, who will always support you. No matter, no matter where you are, they will always, they always got your back. You know what I mean? So it's good to find friends like that. So my friends that I have, they always support me. We always support one another. They always, always there for me. Especially if I have questions concerning um, what, what kind of video to do or what thumbnail should I use or what kind of title should I use. Like they always got my back, you know, and I appreciate that a whole lot. They mean the word and they share my videos on YouTube, not YouTube, but Facebook. They share with their friends and family, all social media. And they're just there for me. So find a friend who will always be there for you. Doing your good and your bad time. Okay? So let's talk about Oliveira. So the reason why I made this video, this Oliveira video. So Oliveira, I got to hear that Oliveira is really, really good for so many things, not just hair. So I was like, so when I saw a video on YouTube, somebody was using Oliveira in their hair. So I was like, what the hell is this? And at that time, I didn't even know what Oliveira was, you know. I was like, what is this? What is she putting in her hair? What is this? And I start to see a lot of videos, people posting Oliveira, Oliveira, Oliveira. I was like, I think I, would, I need to try this. For me, like, I'm so into, I love to try stuff. I love to try new, um, new stuff. So I was like, you know, I'm going to definitely try this. So I was like, but where can I even get Oliveira? I don't even know where to sell it, how much it costs and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, before I try this, I have to, for me, I always like to do my little digging to know more. So I always like to read about something before even trying it or even buying it. So I was like, I have to read about this to see the pros and the corn and to see the benefits and stuff like that. So I went and I made a lot of research talking about Oliveira. So it, it has so many, lot of benefits. It is not just hair growth or face clearance. It has a lot. Of, it's good for diabetic. It's good for skin. It's good for hair. It's good for your overall odor, your hygiene. You can use it to wash down there. You can use different, different stuff. How can I follow up on Instagram? So my Instagram name is Hyonic. Maybe I should spell it here. Same as my um, YouTube name. So you can find me, Hyonic. That's it, James. You got it? So I was like, you know what? I will just try this and see if it works. And I tried it. And it really is really good. And I see a lot of good testimonies, positive testimonies that Oliveira works for their hair. So I decided to try. If you're not a nurse, what other job will you do? If you're not a nurse, what other job will you do? If you're not a nurse, so what other career? That's what you mean? What other career you can do? Or if you are a nurse, what other job can you? Feta, I don't understand your question. So what other career you can do? For me, like, if I understand your question right, for me, like, I don't really know much about other careers because that's not my specialty. So, like, engineering... Those are all ambition, accountant, doctor. So those are other 
ambition you can follow and become whatever you want. For me, my specialty is about nursing, so I know more about nursing than other career. Say that. Did I answer your question? So I don't really know. It just depends on what you like to do as a person. So some people want to be a social work. Some people want to be an accountant. Some people want to be an engineer. So it just depends on what it's like individual preferences. So it just depends on what you like. For me, I'm, I'm specialized into nursing so if maybe you ask me like what kind of nurse because they have so many different types of nursing jobs you can do you don't just have to work at the bedside you just you can you have thousands of different different jobs you can do with your nursing career so if you if that's the question then my answer to that is if you don't want to work at the hospital you can work at agencies. They have different agencies, maybe nursing home agencies, or you can work. It's just tons of places you can work with your nursing career, not just bedside nursing. You can have a home visit, visit residents at your houses or older people and take care of them there. You can be, it's just so much. So if that's what you're asking, and if you are a nurse too at the hospital, you know, like they have different, different sections. If you want to work at labor and delivery, or you want to work at the ICU, or you want to work at, um, you know, like, like, um, if you want to work, you know, like they have every different, different, different section, like the emergency room, the operation room, all those places, those are all nursing jobs you can do. So like for the nursing, you have a lot of opportunity. It's just like you cannot, you can work at the med search floor. So you cannot be stuck with just one thing, you know. If you don't like this, some people want to go into mental health nursing. Like they work at the like facilities that take care of people who have mental health issues. So other people want to go into labor and delivery. Other people want to go into emergency room, operational room. So there are different places you can spread your wings with nursing career. So that's why that's why it's so unique. It's a unique profession that you cannot just be stuck with just one thing. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, too bad you chose this, so you gonna stick here. It's not nursing. It's not like that. If you be like, I don't like this, you uh, you have other opportunity. Okay, I'm gonna jump to this one. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, I'm gonna jump to this one. So you have the variety of opportunity you can dive into. With your nursing career. Say that. Did I answer your question? Are you there? I hope I answer your question. Do you guys have other questions? I feel like I talk a lot about a lot of stuff. Okay, thank you. I'm glad I answered your question. Thank you, Faith. Thanks for that question. So we have a few more minutes to be on here. So we can talk. So can I ask you questions too, guys? So Feda, what are you doing right now? Thanks for being back, um, Fatmata Binta. You know, like I, I know the Binta name, but because it's showing Fatmata Binta on the live chat. So I'm just going with that. <laughs> and that is so funny. So I see, like, if you are new to this, just say hi. If you just got here, just say hi. And if you have any question, you can leave it at the live chat, and I'll be able to answer your question. So for, and all, for all of you who are participating, I say thank you. Thanks a lot for participating. It means a lot to me. Thanks for answering my call. You guys, I had the best. All right, so let's go back to more questions, guys. We have 20 more minutes to be out here, if I'm right. 20 more minutes. So let's keep diving into more questions. So, Feda, what are you doing? What kind of, 
what kind of ambition or what are your career right now? What did you do in school? So this question is for you and Binta, James, what are you doing as well? So now is my time to ask you guys question. So, Feida, Binta, James, because those are the only three people. I don't know if D and D L and G is still here. I don't know if she's still here, but if you have any question, I'm in, I'm asking you guys, what are you guys doing right now? Are you still in school? What kind of career are you into? So my question is, if you are in school, what are you doing? What are you doing in school? That's my question. What are you doing? Are you into the nursing program? Or what are, you, what are your career? What are you doing? I just wish we had camera that I can call you guys to have a one-on-one -on -one interaction. I just feel like it would have been great. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm about to take a pic. And I want you guys to be in here with me. Smile for the camera. <laughs> so, Faye, are you still there in Binta? James, are you still here? Do you, what are you doing, James? What are you doing right now? Are you in school? Are you working? What you doing? I wonder where Ami is. Human services? So you are in school and you're majoring in human services. So what specifically, because I don't really know anything about human services. So what is, what is it? Linda? What do you do after you graduate? Oh, James, nice to meet. Oh, you're in school in Italy. That's nice. So James, what are you studying? So Binta, what is human services? I really don't really know about anything about, that's how, I just want to learn, you know, I don't really know anything about human services. Is it social work or what? And James, what are you studying in Italy? And I would love to visit Italy. <laughs> Say that. She said, coming to America, my dream is to make plenty of money. <laughs> so for me, I just want to work in an environment that I'm comfortable. That's nice. That's a great answer. Yep. Because sometimes, like, if you are in an environment that is not comfortable, your whole life can be a mess. It can be a mess. So I agree with you. That's number one priority. Human satisfaction, we have to satisfy our needs before becoming happy. So if you're not happy with the environment you're working at, it's going to be a help for you. So that's a great answer. Yep, I agree with you. So James, what are you studying if you want to share? But if you don't want to share, that's okay. If you don't want to share, that's fine. Binta, are you still there? What is human services? What, what is, is it social work? Oh, after I graduate, I can work in many fields. For example, I can work in school as a counselor. I can, oh, that's really nice. Oh, therapist, I work in organization that helps the other. Wow. That's nice. Therapists, I work in organization that helps the volunteer population. I love those. For me, like, I just feel like I was made to be socially, like a social person. And uh, like, your, like your ambition is something that I like. Or even if I would have done it, I would have liked. 
because I like to interact with people. So you working in um, an organization that helps a lot, um, like, lot of population, it's like you're going to be interacting with a lot of people in your everyday life. And that's really, really, really good. And I love, I love to work in that kind of environment. So keep it up, Binta. You can do it. Yep. It just takes you. So for me, in my mind, it's similar to social work. Okay, it's similar to social work. That's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. So for me, like one thing I'm going to always leave you guys with, and for me, I just believe in that, and I have that belief, whatever, I mean what ever you want to be if you work for it it's going to definitely come to pass no matter how hardship you go through no matter what your finances is no matter what your problem is as long you dedicate yourself to it you put your all into it you pray to god for god to help you with it it will always come to pass no matter what so that's the only thing i'm going to leave you guys with Follow your dreams and be who you want to be. If you want to be a president, you can be a president. Nobody want to tell you you cannot. Nobody on this earth. If you want to be whatever, especially we, Tenga, we in America, we have a lot of opportunity to dive into different, different things that can make us successful. You know, successful, like meaning that you can live a com- have a family and live a comfortable life. You know, in management. Oh, you work. Oh, okay, management. That's nice. For me, anything about management, accounting, I don't have no idea about none. But if you talk about health, or you talk about or anything about health, you will grab my interest. <laughs> so I don't really know anything about management or accounting or finances. But that's pretty good too. That's really, really good. Yep. So we have eight more minutes, guys, and I'm going to be cutting this live thing. And it was really nice. I swear to God, this, you guys just made my day. It was really beautiful interacting with all of you guys. I just feel like you guys are my family. Like, just, it's like I've been knowing you guys forever just by talking today, to be honest with you guys. Thank you. I can't thank you enough for being here and interacting with me, taking all of your time or putting some of your busy schedule to just be here and talk. I appreciate that a whole lot. Yep, I appreciate that a whole lot. So we have just eight, no, seven more minutes, and I'm going to be cutting this live off. So how is the Ramadan? Are you guys... Hang it in there. How is it going? <laughs> oh, say that. I just saw this. <laughs> I didn't even know you already posted this on the group chart. Six years. Wow. I don't even remember when we met, to be honest. I don't remember when we met. Which year? It was 2015? No, it was not 20. It's probably 2015. Because, I'm calling you Big Yusuf. Which year did we meet? 2015, Binta? Which year? Twenty fourteen. Wow, that's a long time. And I just feel like too, one day we will talk about we will make a video talking about how we met. And I will love we met Winka. 
but we girls met her. Wow, 2014. So, you know, it was 2014 that I started, um, started in KBCC. So, and it was that same 2014 that we met. That's pretty much nice. Yeah. 2014, wow, that's a long time. That's a long time. We came a long way. We met in 2000. Oh, 2008. So, Binta, where you and Ami met building Peter? Where did you guys meet? So, we have five more minutes. Oh, we're on vacation. Oh, yeah, me and Feida, we were friends before. Oh, yes, it was. So when I started KBCC, it was just me. I didn't know anybody. I didn't even know Fulani people in that school. I didn't know anybody. I used to do everything by myself. Used to go to the cafeteria by myself, eat lunch or dinner by breakfast and dinner by myself. So when I met Feydad, so when I met Feydad, me and Feydad started to do stuff together, interact. And we used to call one another asking, where are you? which part of the school you at, you know, so we became friends, it was pretty, it was moving on smoothly until then we meet Benta and Ami because of allergy. That's why, that's how we met, because of allergy. Yep. But I feel like it was God brought us together and he did it for a reason. Even though sometimes you guys can get on my last nerve, but we will keep rolling, rolling, rolling. That's right. No, me and Fada, me and Fada did not meet because of allergy, but me and you guys met because of allergy. Yeah. And even now, I don't even know where, I don't even talk to Alagi like that anymore. I don't really talk to him. Fida, why are you laughing? Why are you cracking out, girl? I think I need a pick. So, smile. But the rest of us met because of, yeah, that's true. The rest of us met because of allergy. Allergy, I got to, I knew allergy even before you guys. So when he saw me and say that, that's how we just met because of him. Like you guys said, it was because of him. Yep. Allergy is our Paco. I don't know, we forgot him, but. He's our everything. He put us together. He put this friendship together. He's the reason why we are friends today. But I don't, oh yeah, we can make, can we fix a month? So you guys, you guys, people can never plan with you guys, never. So even like if we plan today and be like, okay, every year our anniversary, we or maybe every two years or every three years our friendship anniversary we will just travel somewhere and spend that time together but sometimes when we talk it's never gonna happen so just plenty stuff with you guys it's a no now because it's not gonna happen <sighs> It's going to be impossible. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So we have one more minute and we going to cut it a day. So like I was saying, I'm about to kiss all of you. We should celebrate our six years anniversary. We can, but not at this Corona time. 
we can plan it for next year when I'm graduating and we can just do it together. What do you guys think? That would be nice. Can we do that? Can we do it on my graduation? Can we do that, guys? Good. Been that way for you to plan it too. Can you plan it for us? For me, I'm ready. If you guys plan it, I'm ready. But you, you guys remember when I we did this? We said we're gonna save money up to now. I haven't received nothing from you guys yet. So I'm not gonna be in. I'm not leading on any of you anymore. Never. I'm not going to be the leader anymore. I'm not going to be the planner. Not even leader, but planning stuff. I'm not going to. You guys plan, I'll follow. <laughs> you drag us out? <laughs> For me, I'm willing. If you plan it, definitely I'll be there. Just plan it. And you will see me there. Life. But I'm not planning anything. Because I know it's not going to work. All right, I would love to go wherever you guys take me. Las Vegas, ooh, check me in. Check me in. I will be on that list. Wherever you guys want to go, I'm on that list. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you guys all. It's prayer time. It's time to pray here. So I thank all of you for being here. Thank you guys for showing me love. And thanks for supporting me. I appreciate it. And I will keep in touch with you guys. So I'm about to end this live, okay? So love y'all. I will be back again. Bye-bye. Bye, Feda. Bye, Binta. Bye, James. Bye to whoever is here and refuse to type. Bye to you. Thanks for being here. And I will see you guys some other time with more live chat. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Nice.